Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the week that was video, or rather the fortnight that was, because I didn't do a video last week. I really didn't have a lot to talk about, so I didn't do a video. Although I have been doing my April Shorts video, and especially this week, I've been looking at Earth Week. So I hope you check those out. Um, Earth Week is really important to where we live because of the Great Barrier Reef and looking after the reef. So this week's video I have at some happy mail, um, some finished objects and just a bit of chat about different things. So first of all I received a really surprise parcel which is half unpacked. Ta -da! From my friend Barbara now it is full of presents gift wrapped sorry about the crackling for my birthday which happens to be may the 6th and today is april the 23rd reed's brought it home he said when he got there there was a slight slit in the parcel and the ladies at the post office were checking it but everything was okay but that, what they were doing, it was said, was astounding. They couldn't believe the amount of money the postage was from the USA to here. They were working out um, dollars per hundred grams and comparing it to Australian postage. And we've decided it's definitely far more expensive to post from the USA than it is from Australia to the USA, which is pretty high anyway. So Barbara, thank you so much for the present. Um, Unfortunately, Reeves won't let me open them. After this video, he's confiscating them and hiding them to my birthday. He said that they are birthday presents and you just have to wait. So I've got happy mail that is tempting me to open it, but Reeves won't let me. There was a lovely card inside that Barbara made. I really like handmade cards. And yes, such a... Oh, absolutely touched my heart and blown away that someone has remembered my birthday just yeah absolutely stuns me and i thank you very much barbara i will do an unbagging birthday on my uh, unbagging happy mail on my birthday um, so yes reads is patiently waiting to take all this off me he's so mean <laughs> So, finished objects. Well, first of all, of course, Bod had a Palooza. I am two weeks to show you because I didn't show you last week. So, first off the rank is a stitch I really like, the herringbone stitch. And this one is called the first Jazzy, no, that's the second one, Unisex Beanie with a Herringbone Stitch. And that's the one I made. That's the ball band in it. Um, so I made it in mint green for Madonna because the one before I made in orange for Mad Mimi who's hosting um, Bod Had a Palooza, Palooza, Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. I made it in the usual spotlight, save a yarn. Um, and yeah, it turned out really great. I do like this color green. I must admit, Madonna, I do like it. So that was hat number week number one. Week number two, I'll just swap them over and I'll put them on my model's head. Was the, it says the Galaxy Blue Beanie. Now I've made a child side, so this might be a bit tight on here. Oh, it doesn't want to go on. There we go. I actually did like this pattern after whinging about it because it was puff stitch and I am puffed out so there you go that is the galaxy blue beanie which I didn't have galaxy blue yarn but I did discover I had one um, skein of Karen Simply Soft party yarn in the colour da -dun -da -dun, silver sparkle and I made a smaller size using a five millimeter crochet hook um, I wanted a more child size beanie it doesn't fit me at all and this is a four weight yarn and I it's an 85 gram ball and I use 32 grams I have 32 grams left 
um, to use up. So yeah, it turned out really well. Um, I believe Jan the Alaskan Crafter picked this one. We've had a lot of puff stitch. Not happy, Jan. But anyway, it did turn out well. Make sure you check out Jan the, Ala the Alaskan Crafter Jan and her channel. Um, I love seeing all her snow photos and her wild animals and whatever she takes outside, plus her projects. So that was hat number two, for week two of Bod Hat of Palooza. Now, leftover yarn. So I haven't done a lot for my Etsy shop and I came across what I thought was a bargain at one of my local uh, discount stores called Silly Sollies. And I found three of these little toys that were always really popular at the markets. They're like um, tie something. They do have tie on them, but not the tie labels. So there was three of them. Ta -da! So this one I made with the leftover Karen Simply Soft Sparkly yarn. And of course, the lovey is D, Z from Z's. <sighs> Can't remember. It's the world famous lovey that goes on a neckband. I will put a link to it in the description below. I swear by it. All I do that different, different is give it a little fancy edging. So the leftover yarn from the hat, I have that much left now. I have used most of it. So does that class as a one skein wonder? And that just becomes a bit of scrap yarn for use later. But yeah, they're all cats. So there's that one. This one I did in, um, this is leftover Karen cake yarn. And there was some pink. And I used the two pinks that were left over from some scrap yarn for this one. It's really cute. And this one is more of the leftover cake yarn. Um, so I'm using up my scraps and I gave them a fancy edging. I will be putting these for sale in my Etsy shop. I just haven't decided when and how much. But they were popular on my market store. Um, I don't know how they'll go in my little Etsy shop. So that is the total of my finished objects because yes I have been working on knitting projects you must be sick of hearing me talk about my knitting projects um, first of all I have been working on an amigurumi for amigurumi wars it is a knitting project I started last year and I must have had five attempts to get it started and I finally reached a place now where I'm putting the legs on so hopefully that'll be finished for this month's Hamagurumi Wars, which is also being hosted by the Alaskan crafter, Jan. Um, yeah, I'm determined to get it finished. It was a paid-for pattern that was given to me as a gift. Um, it's just really tested my knitting skills. It was a bit more advanced than I thought it would be. But it's nearly finished. The other thing is, big knitting projects. Um, I have seven rows to go on one of them. But that's about 500 and something stitches per row. So it takes me a while because I'm not exactly a fast knitter. And I am into more enjoying the process of my knitting than being the first to finish. Um, yeah, the idea of me doing more knitting was to improve my skills and enjoy the process. Um, crochet has always been quick for me. I do enjoy the process, but I am working on that with my knitting skills. So I've been working on my knitting. So a bit of life update. Ta -da! I have all my tickets here. Booked, paid for and ready to go for my trip to the UK. Ta -da! We had an official handover on Monday from our travel agent. Um, yeah, I am so excited to see my son do some yarn shopping. See my son have some fun, have dinner with my son. Yeah, it's been a few years since COVID and um, I things just as excited as me. It, we are, um, we have restless feet. We do need to travel and go different places, even if it's for a weekend. We've never really been the sort of people that enjoy being at home all the time. We like being at home, but we have restless, itchy feet. 
we need to travel. So yes, officially all booked, paid for, ready to go. So the other thing is if you're traveling on my make along yarn vacation, hey Hugh, I hope you're enjoying Brazil. It's an exciting country. And don't forget to post your pictures to the Facebook group page or on Instagram with hashtag YarnVacationAU. And if you don't do social media, remember you can always email me your pictures and give me permission or not to share them on social media. It's really coming to an end soon. But Brazil has been really interesting and a lot of fun. So I hope you're enjoying that. Um, I'm just checking my notes because... So the other thing, the reason there's not a lot of finished objects, with it being Earth Week and the weather has got a bit cooler, it's raining today, hence the lighting's not great, it's very overcast. We're still getting rain, which is unusual, but Earth Week, um, with it cooler, I got out in the garden and I've done different things out in the garden. I became really inspired to revamp an old garden bed that was looking a bit tired after watching Bod Life and Crystal and Eric um, going to do a section of their garden in front of their house. It sort of made, made me think, yeah, mine was looking tired and I needed to do something with it. So hopefully in the future I'll bring you some pictures of that. But yeah, I've been getting out in the garden after work and work's still pretty busy, which is unusual. Um, so make sure you check out Bod Life not just Crystal um, Bagger Day Crochet. They have some really fun videos on Bod Life. I love seeing their dogs, their property. Um, Crystal is so knowledgeable about plants. It's always interesting. And she grows totally different stuff than I can grow. Um, she grows roses. I love roses, but they just struggle here in the tropics. I have to sell for the desert rose. So make sure you check it out. Remember all the links to the tutorials, patterns, anything I use will be in the description below for you to check out. Um, what else have I done? Um, crafting wise for the coming week, I'm going to try and finish one of these big knitting projects and finally share it with you. I have some um, cows that I need to catch up on and the other day I think Reeves was listing all my whips and I have 13 whips because I said, oh, I wouldn't mind starting this. And he said, don't you think you have enough whips on the go? Maybe you should reduce some of them before you start new projects. I'm starting to wonder who the parent and who the child is. Because he's keeping me on the straight and narrow. Um, so I guess... What's on your needles and hooks? What are you up to? Um, what inspires you besides crafting? Um, did you do anything for Earth Week? You may not believe in climate change or not, but no matter what you believe in, we are becoming a more populated planet, a more consumable planet, and we are burying ourselves in rubbish. So, yes, it is important to think about recycling, reusing, repurposing, and yeah, have you done something lately that even one little bit, if everyone, every person did a little bit, the planet would be in a better condition. So let's remember to look after our planet. So hopefully you will have at least one crafty day this week. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.